So I'm just going to do a, a quick review on the Wirac HW100 Bullpup. Um, I'm not a massive YouTuber, so I'm not really set up for YouTube videos, but I thought I'd just do a quick review on it as it's a brand new old rifle and there's not many about to be seen. This is the, the carbine version, so it's shorter. Uh, I like bullpups. Um, I've been wanting a Wirac bullpup for a while now, so I was quite excited when I found out Wirac was actually bringing one out. I did have the uh, the conversion kit from, from Craftsman Vit. Um, in fact, this is the, uh, the HW100 carbine, which I bought years ago. Brilliant rifle, superb rifle. Um, but I wanted something a bit shorter because I use it for, for shooting rats at night with night vision, uh, usually out of the car. So I wanted something compact, so I converted that rifle with the uh, with, with the bullpup kit from Blackpool Air Rifles about six months or so ago. And uh, I liked the kit, it was a, a great kit, but I, there were a few little things that I, I, I wasn't too keen on, just didn't quite feel right for me. Um, so when I found out why I was actually going to bring a bullpup out, I knew I had to have one. Uh, so I managed to pick this one up. Over the weekend, which I think was the first one our local dealer had in, and uh, fortunately I'm I'm close to Hull, so it was, it was quite quick at getting one. But anyway, so this is the carbine version. This is the shorter version. Uh, it comes in two lengths. Um, I, I was at the shooting show a few weeks back, and they only had the full length versions there, so I was quite excited to to get my hands on this short version. Um, and as soon as I picked it up and uh, and shouldered it, I knew. I was going to go for the shorter version. Uh, so I just want to point a couple of things out for any heel guys out there. If you're thinking of buying one and they're not able to go down and pick them up and have a look at them. Um, so a couple of questions I had, which no one could really answer for me. Um, so I kind of answered them myself once I got one. Was I wanted to know the, the shot count and things like that compared to the 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 100 carbine. Uh, and they're pretty much the same rifle. They, now the, the, the air cylinder... The tank um, is identical, you know, it's a, a, a 0 0.105 litre tank, it's the identical tank, so I'm assuming I'm going to get the exact same shot count out of it. Uh, the barrel, sil they come with a silencer, like the like the normal Wirax do, and two uh, magazines, just uses the exact same magazines as the Wirax 100. The action is identical, uh, the only major difference, which I'm sure you can see, is this cocking lever is higher up and further forward. I'll, I'll lay the rifle down in line with the, the, the standard carbine so you can see the difference in length. So the, as you can see, the barrels are pretty much in line with each other. You come back, you can see the cylinders are all the same. The barrel is, the action's the same. Uh, your loading mechanism's identical. Your safety... Oh, it is just the wire rack uh, action. Um, the only main difference is if you look at the cocking lever, how far forward the cocking lever is compared to this one. And of course, being a bullpup, it's considerably shorter. There's a fair bit of difference, uh, which makes it much more compact. Uh, great shoulders, brilliant. And I guess if you're shooting out the car, like I do when I go ratting, it should be... Uh, uh, <laughs> A lot easier to handle uh, you're not catching anything obviously all the usual features it's got this extra bit of uh, picketing rail for extra torches or uh, bipods uh, the handle on it uh, is the same as the handle on the hw44 pistol that they do feels superb if you're left-handed or right-handed and um, it really really is comfortable whether you like the look or not i don't know that's just you know personal choice but the feel of it, it it feels superb very comfortable um one thing i do want to point out is i still have the uh the craftsman vit uh kit that blackpool air rifles supply i'm just gonna offer it up so this this is this is the stock that uh, you get from Blackpool Air Rifles, and this is part of the conversion kit for, for converting these standard ones 
uh, to a bullpup. Now this is this is a super. You can see the quality of the stock. It's superb, um, and it really really shortens the rifle considerable. Now if I put that there, so you can kind of that's kind of where it would sit in the action. So you can you can kind of see um, the difference in the rifles. This this uh, this craftsman's vi conversion is slightly shorter. Um, the main thing for me was when when you're cocking, your cocking lever is right back here, and it is kind of awkward to cock compared to the new one. Now I never really noticed it too much until uh, my old fella, my dad, bought himself a, a Wildcat FX Wildcat in an FAC, which is a superb superb rifle. Um, but when I compared that bullpup compared to this converted bullpup, I noticed a difference. And uh, so I, I was thinking about buying myself an FX Wildcat in sub 12 foot pounds. Uh, but before I did, I, I, I went to the show and I, I found out that why I could release this. And that for me, I'm not I'm not comparing this to the Wildcat because I've I've not used this in the field. Uh, but as soon as I shouldered it, and I am a massive HW100 fan, I've had a few. Um, and I can't fault the, just the, the, the mechanism, the, the cocking action, the side lever, everything's superb on it. I mean, I'm, I'm sure if you're looking at this rifle, you've had a Wairach HW100 before, so I don't really need to try and sell the 100. It, it sells itself. Uh, for me, PCP, out of the box, I don't think you can beat an HW100. I've had day states and... And others and I, I keep coming back to the 100 um, none of these are I have not there's no rat works or tench regulators and everything they are literally out of the box uh, when you're spending this kind of money on an air rifle I don't really want to I don't really want to spend a thousand pound on an air rifle then start spending more money to tune it up you know for a thousand pound air rifle I want it to to do the job out of the box and these 100s do um, but anyway so now you can see, this is uh, say this is the carbon version, so it's quite shorter. I have held the longer version, and it, again, it feels superb. Uh, but I, I like I like the short bullpup. For me, the longer version, I thought that when you held it, I was getting a little bit away from a bullpup. It was a bit too long for me. Um, I guess it depends what you want. Shot count for me, I'm out ratting with it. So it, <laughs> I think this you'll get about 70 shots. So uh, seventy rats is a good a good night's ratting for me. Um, you can see the the you know these have got the cheek piece uh, or the plastic cheek piece. I noticed when I bought the kit before, I had to buy the cheek piece extra, which wasn't a problem, but it, it wasn't very comfortable. Uh, so anyway, this this is a good thing about Warwick. Obviously, they've they've taken all the other bull pups and thought about them and, uh, and taken little bits from them. So they come with the Picatinny rail, which uh, great, great stuff. You know, it's, I like the Picatinny rails. T to me, they're a bit more robust. Um, again, like I said earlier, it, it, they come with the silencer, like all wire racks. They came, it, it came with two standard magazines, um, and obviously all your filling adapters. Um, other than that, there's not a, a great deal to tell you about it until I actually get it out in the field and try it. But I mean, it just you know, it, it, it shoulders superb, it, it feels nice. Uh, there's plenty of room at the four stock there to get your hand on, even though this is in the way. Uh, you know, it, do, it doesn't feel uncomfortable um, if you're moving around the field with it. Um, Bullpups are, uh, I guess, you know, some people love them, some people hate them. Um, as I look at these two rifles in front of me, you know, <laughs> the standard one is a far better looking rifle to me. Uh, I, I don't think bullpups are a superb looking rifle. I think they're, it's about the feel and uh, you know about using them in the field sort of thing. So whether you like them, I know some people love them, some people love them. Um, I just like the feel of them. I, I don't look at bullpups and think, oh, that looks a better rifle. Uh, I certainly don't. But this isn't really so much of a, a review on all bullpups. It was just I just wanted to do a short video on the wire rack. 100 bullpup because I know it's brand new rifle and there's not a man, there's not many uh, reviews out there. Um, if any of you have got any questions that I haven't covered, uh, just 
pop it in the comments and I'll, I'll try and respond to it as quick as I can. Uh, I, I, this week I'll be putting the scope on this and, and trying it out, give it zeroed in and then uh, try it out. You know, I, I, the good thing is, so I, I didn't mention is the cocking lever on this as well as the biathlon attached to it. Now I have had, I've bought these different biathlon attachments for this that are available on eBay and uh, I've tried them a few times and they, they always tend to go wobbly. They don't quite lock on enough for me where this one, is actually bolted through and fastened in, um, which is superb. I have found from shooting rats with night vision in the dark, is I realised that you don't really, really know your rifle until you try loading it and cocking it in the dark. Um, I've got no military training whatsoever. I'm sure you guys out there that do have military training know all that. Uh, <laughs> but that was one thing. The biathlon lever makes a big difference when you're trying to cock the rifle in the dark. Uh, and I'm talking total pitch black because we're using night vision. Uh, so that's good. It's got it built in. Um, the stock, it's this standard like uh, tactical stock. It's got like a, like a rubbery feel to it. Quite nice. Quite nice. Um, that's about it really, all the all the filling the filling uh systems exactly the same. How you charge it up, there's there's no difference there in the adapters. Like I say, if you've got any questions, just fire them through to us on the comments and I'll try and answer them for you. I can see that there. It's all uh pretty much like you'll see on the pictures. Yeah, uh, but I just thought I'd do an actual video review. You know, because sometimes there's there's questions that don't always get get answered, uh, and that's it from me really. You can see it there compared to the to the carbine.